And, well, let me just introduce you to JJ. Here's JJ, and this is from our first interview. Have a look. Yo, Keith, what's my, Keith, you know what's funny about you, dude? Is that you sent me a friend invite, and for like two or three weeks, man, you were so filled up with mother I couldn't even accept your shit. I was happy when I actually had the ability to accept your shit today. So it's cool. Uh, and it's even cooler that you're here, sitting here talking about me. So here's the story I'm with person, my friend JJ that, and me. And we right. have a history that I'm so proud of. Found out about me online just as many other people did through Facebook. He is so passionate, just like your happy healer is, about changing the world and making it a better place. So when he showed interest in interviewing yours truly, I was so happy at the prospect of being able to spend time with such a great guy who loves humanity. I'll tell you, it's not our first time either. And if I had a chance to run, let's say somehow I got popular over and I happy healer is so amazing, right? It would be like a gift from God if that happened because of the change and the things that we could really do. And the way I do things with love, and I am a bit a bit forward and I'm quick, I'm quick with it. I just think because I only love, I don't have to worry about hate. I don't have all that in my heart. So I just love, I go in there with truth and I get fired up specifically when I see bad things. This is JJ, my friend from Facebook and from beyond because in the cosmos and the universe yeah. and all over because that is just how we each of us are. And I'm so happy to know that we are just so grand and powerful in our own lives. Well, JJ is interviewing yours truly for the presidential run. It's so important, the work that we are doing together for humanity. Each one of us can make such a huge difference. I'm so completely sure of this fact. We have to do whatever we can to empower each person around us to feel the same way to lift up our lives and this is exactly yeah. the kind of work that my friend JJ does so without further ado I'd like to get this next interview going so have a look as JJ interviews your happy healer for president of Hello, the United folks, States and welcome to the show I am coming on live because we're doing something a little bit different I actually have a friend and he's his name is JJ Samuelson and so we're actually going to be debating him live. Not so much, he's more interviewing me. I am a presidential candidate, and I take my run very seriously, so as does many other people. And it's our goal to be interviewed. And it's our goal to get our message out there and to grow everything that we're doing for the people. We know it depends on the things we do now. It's so imperative that those things are effective in helping move our cause forward. So what we are doing is we're going to actually wait for him to come on. And in the meantime, I'm just going to talk to you. And also we have this being filled, filmed from a couple of perspectives. And this is the uh, screen he'll be coming on right here. And this is not CGI. This is an actual iPad. <laughs> So I know sometimes you have to clarify that in the world of film, especially when you're learning how to do things right like your happy healer is, and we're doing things right. We will always do things right because it counts on us to do things right. Otherwise, our message fails and we can't have that. We work too hard. And so we're going to stay okay. And he's. I'm getting from him that he's ready, so... Let's go ahead and see where exactly this is at. I have my Facebook opened as well, just in case he is starting here somehow. I do not normally come on using the Facebook app that often, but it's a great way for us to communicate. So we'll use it when we can and when it's convenient for you. All right, gave him the big thumbs up. And so now we're just in a holding status. Surely once we get going here, things will take off well. And I'm kind of curious to see how well my setup works because I was preparing for this because I want to have more of a voice with the people. And this is a great way to do it, I think. Okay. He says it's on here. So I'm just going to try and refresh it up oh, there he is my man JJ so let's see how I can do this sounds here like a fucking contradiction because there's no damn meat in there <laughs> oh that's awesome Casey called me out on that <clears throat> I don't know how they're gonna go I still got uh, this I think it's that coming through okay yeah you hear him okay hey, uh, Keith. hey can you go see ahead. me 
asked to come on in here. Yeah. Let's do this interview. You can't see me yet, though. I don't think so. So, let's see. Unlike the uh, Q people, we're going to see if maybe I'm supposed to come on through his messenger. I know you guys probably are looking at this saying, people how can you do media and not know that? I don't do this a lot, on, believe it or not. Was it a couple days ago? <clears throat> Keith's actually magic when it comes to graphics and shit. Yeah, I'm great with it, Pretty except for I can't get in on your if show I here. Him, I wouldn't run for president. I'd start a fucking like, graphic design studio or something. No bullshit. The guy's got talent. Crazy talent. All right, Keith, you ready to come in here, man? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready, except for how... how you awake. I think you need to send me... Uh, me. I think you need to give wow. me some sort of... Uh, right what up, bro? Invite, my Yo, friend. Yo, listen to the thing on 5G. I thought that was really fucking cool. I like the effort they... Let's see. Don't aren't you supposed to send an invite with these things? I don't know how it works. I mean, he's gonna end up getting a call from me here. Let's see if I could just get in on it like that. Maybe that'll be good enough. No, it says no answer. All right, let's go back to the other one here that you put into that cool stuff you should do more stuff like that I know you're not you need an invite yes I need an invite send him the invite Keith K-I so we're getting that invite right now folks and then we'll be good to go <laughs> and you can actually see this is JJ so All right, Keith. you're in all right. I sent it. And I hear your doggies. One second. Keith's here. We're just trying to get this set up. This oh, don't. Be interesting. He's a good dude. But, I mean, anybody who knows anything about me knows that I don't need a ruler. I function. All right. Am I in now? So... Rita, the uh, 5G video that uh, Jeremy did is in the room that uh, that I set up, uh, Study of Evolution for All. It's a really cool video. Jeremy did a really great job, had a chalkboard and everything. Uh, so, uh, Jeremy did a 5G video. Uh, the room that I got set up did a 5G video. All right, so video. apparently I just sent... Oh, there it is. Join. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you can. Are you getting me now? Do you hear me? I mean, I hear you, but it's just a green, it's just a green square. Square. Are you? Oh, are uh, you a Martian? Are you a Martian? No, that's really odd. Oh wait, I know what it is. Hold on. Because I've been looking forever to see the aliens. I wanted to get me the fuck out of here. Hell yeah, dude, that'd be a pretty cool, pretty cool deal for us. But yeah. All right, there you go. Now you should be able to see me. You're sideways, but that's uh, better than green guy. Sideways, though. Ah, oh, oh, shit, man. All right, well, I'm gonna have to be sideways because I have this thing. You, you would know if you were here. I have this thing taped that I can't even change it. So, and you're sideways too for me. So it's fine. Uh, I'll just uh, have to do it like this. So how are you doing, man? Oh boy, I'm tired. I've had a big day. I'm fucking garden. Um, Cutting up some garden uh, shit, handing it off to the neighbors. Doing that voluntary doing society that shit, you know what I mean? Just uh, doing the best I can with life. So, Keith, um, oh, man. You're, you're, you're running you're, to be you're, you're a president. I, I gotta ask president. you first, because I, I, I know that you voted for Trump. That's right. right. Uh, but, uh, now but now you don't like Trump. But now you don't like Trump. It's not that I don't like him. I don't like. I don't. Uh, I don't not like anyone. Just to be clear, right? I just think that there's a better way. And I had in my like I had a mission in mind with Trump. He for me was a disruptor. Yeah, I'm, I've got full systems here. Can you? Uh, all my systems seem to be okay right now. Are you? Can you hear me? You're breaking up a little too on your end. Maybe it's. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm right next, next to my, my router. router. Can, Can you, you see me? Yes. Hear me? 
You, you, I, I can see you. You're breaking up. There you go. You're breaking up. There you go. Uh, there's there's not, not much, much I can, can do to make, make it better. better. Let, let, me let, me, let me see if I can. Hold on. Let me check one You're breaking up. You're breaking up. Yeah, you're breaking up really, really bad. Really, really bad. I didn't catch it. I didn't just said. I um, um, didn't, didn't say, say much. much. We're, We're just, just trying, trying to get, get this, this to work, work good right, right now for you. Make sure you can hear me okay. Yeah. I'm going to see what router I'm on just to, to make, make sure we're on the best. I'm pretty sure I am, yeah. man. Well, I got 200 megabytes per second, so I'm I'm good on my end. Can you still hear me, Keith? Yeah. Okay, maybe it'll get better now. One second, guys. Technical difficulties. Facebook doesn't want to hear us talk. Right. All right, try yeah, try now. now. Yeah, you better. Now. Is this is this any better? Yeah, you yeah it's now. better. It's better. Sideways, okay, sideways okay. works. Sideways, so sideways works. go ahead and uh, you know yeah. tell us you 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 did vote for Trump. You, you did vote for Trump. But I've heard some negative yes, comments, comments come out of you about Trump. About Trump. And not just okay, Trump, but all the candidates. I don't trust. Trump, I don't trust second, any guys, of the other candidates to do the job either. Still yeah, breaking I hear up, you man. guys. Still breaking up, man. So, go ahead and, uh, you know, tell Still breaking up. You, you, you I, I wish I could make out. So, I, I wish I could make out. So you don't trust any candidates. You don't trust any candidates. No. 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 No, I don't trust the one of them. Nope. Okay. So, okay. So you, you're, you're running for president. I see you working hard. I seen um, you went to a Trump rally, right? You had a speaker and a microphone. Let me ask you. What are you going to do different? Let me ask you. What are you going to do different? I wish I could make out. So that's a great question. You don't trust any candidates. No. No. What? What? We're getting a little bit of a playback. I think on your okay. end you have a playback, so, JJ. No. So it's coming back through my speaker. But either way, I'm just going to press forward. Here's here's what is the difference between my campaign and all of the other campaigns. I am actually one of the people. I come from the people. When I say I'm the people's candidate, it's because I've had the same struggles as the people. I take myself so seriously, even as people, they want to take themselves seriously. I laugh at them because they laugh at me. I realize just how big of a joke they take themselves when they do that, especially given the reality that we're in now. The state of affairs that we did not put ourselves in, folks. They put us in the state of affairs that we are in now, that we're living in now, and the only thing we could do about it is to acknowledge it and do differently than what they're doing because their failed state of affairs is under their governorship, not mine, not us. It's not the people. It's not love. You see what they've given us. And then they say we can't have it. Well, I don't want to go on too far. I'm just answering your question. But I, I can. I can go on for quite a while. You know me. So what are you going to do? So what are you going to do? Yep, I'm, that's a great question. So here's where we're at. I have the campaign having been going now on its fourth month. We are doing our best just to get taken seriously by our compatriots, other citizens. In the meantime, I'm working it as if I already had millions of supporters because when the day comes, I want to be that much more prepared. I take my own candidacy. I'm telling you, I take my own candidacy. I'm, we're doing it right here. If we can't get acknowledgement from the people that were a serious candidacy, we can't do anything to start with. The things that we're doing differently is that the fundamentally who we are and also the fact that we're taking care of people. We're putting humanity first. They don't even have that in their plan. They don't talk about it. It's not in their vocabulary. I think if you, they don't I, know about not to cut you off, but I think if you slow down, it, it'll pick it up a little bit better because I can sort of hear you, but maybe you're moving a little bit too fast for Facebook's algorithms. Okay, yeah. I tend to try and get it out it, quick because not, not to cut you off, but I, 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 in my experience are very small. And so the more epic, the more intense that I can keep the message going, that people can hear me, and that there is a very bad, serious, and you'll hear it on my show when you later on go back, 
There's not much I could do to stop that because it's coming through your end. But um, it, you'll always hear our voices just louder. And so I am doing things that I feel will serve us. I don't think the other candidates are doing it, JJ. They're not doing that We're tough work, my brother. They don't care. There we go. There we go. So, so you broke up for a second. So let's let's ask this question. All right. So let's let's ask this question. What's your what's what what are you gonna do as president? What's your plan? If if let's say if you got it, let's say if you became soon supreme ruler of the United States of America. What are you gonna do as president? Thank you. First thing is I'm going to set a precedent that humanity matters. Because right now, we don't matter, man. We just don't matter. Money matters. The right class matter, it seems. We're having a huge class warfare, so I would remind the people of that. Then I would get to the serious business of making that matter in the law. That people matter. You have to write it into the law or it doesn't even, it's not even true. It holds no weight. Right now, it holds no weight. So, we write it into the law by taking care of people. You already know, and I don't make it any secret, my plan is to provide all human needs. Full stop. We're not going halfway, and then we still have half the problems. People are ready for serious progress. They're ready for serious change. They have worked themselves essentially into a frenzy. They know that they are entitled to this change. Yet they get nothing and they get nowhere. And they get tons of I got you. And they I, get listen, disunity. I, I, know, I know where everybody's at. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I already told you. I'm going to fix Well, I mean, you said, what, $5,000 a month? Full stop. Five thousand dollars per month, and that's a livable wage. It's not great. It's not. Yes, and it's it's a livable wage. It's not something that's going to make you rich. Not in America, but and that's for a family of four. If you're ahead of household, like for example, in Yan's plane, he he wants to do one thousand a month for every adult. Uh, okay, I like the notion, but it doesn't go far enough for certain circumstances. Ugh. People who are head of households cannot live on a thousand dollars a month if you are maintaining a home. So you got to have a little bit more. But we have to be acknowledging that families and that people they matter. So that's what I'm doing in my campaign, and I really feel that Jay, it's the right thing to do, even to my Republican brothers who say, "Oh well, why should we do this income redistribution?" Because that's what it is. I'd say, but we're all part of American exceptionalism that built this country. My dad, he fought in Korea. My grandfathers, they were in this country fighting. Yet my brothers and sisters and I, we suffer in this world. We suffer even further from the perceived acknowledgement that we're somehow getting it better as white people. There is so much reverse racism, so much hell, and we all pay for it because we just go straight to our war, our civil war that we all love so much. With me, we get away from that and we start saying... I, I got you. I got you. But that's because government gets us into wars. Right? That's influence. Right? That's influence. Yeah. Right. It's bad. They're well, not that's, that's government. The people, my that's, brother. that's influence. That's the only reason we go to war. People don't want to go to war. People themselves don't want to go to war. The indoctrination to be a patriot blindly following orders is what takes war. The indoctrination to be are you back? I am the, yeah, I'm here. You're breaking up a bit. But what I was just going to say is I am the, I am the life campaign from a whole nother perspective than what the Republicans say. I am the life worth living campaign. What good is having a life if it's not worth living? I'm here. Three all right. All right, I, I see you now. I lost your visual for a moment, but you're back. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Everybody wants to know it here. And I actually want to know it too. This is one of the questions that I was going to ask you. So, you know, we got a, we got a nice alliance here. We're, okay, so we have, I can tell you on my paycheck, because I'm in sales, 40 fucking percent. 40 fucking percent comes out of my goddamn paycheck every single month. And I'm funding Every things like war, and I'm right? Things I'm like funding things that I don't even know what the fuck I'm funding. There's no receipt 
is not transparent. There is no taxation with representation at all. So tell me, where's your money going to come from? That's a great question. The taxes are already astronomical. All of our essence. Let me, let me finish. Taxes are already astronomical. Government has absolutely zero to contribute to this economy. Whatever government gets, it must feel. I agree with that. It has to tax its citizens. I don't think we're doing it fairly. I think we're doing it way off base. And I don't even think like what you just said a moment ago is so true. If you have resentment towards that, it's well placed. Because people are not transparent. These guys who are in power, they're all corrupt. That's why they don't want their secrets to come out. That's why when they do come out, they're so ugly. Because they're all corrupt. We always tell them and we tell ourselves, we want the perfect candidate. We never end up with the, the perfect, perfect candidate, candidate, do we? We, we always, always end, end up with instead is a perfect liar. Person. What I offer you is truth. When I go into this position, I go into it with a clear mind, the same mind all of us have that have been living in their failed policies. I go in with an expectation that you put me there to be transparent and to be a good steward of the wealth we do have, to not waste it, so that we can supply for our people in a complete way and we can start having a life worth living. Okay, but what I'm saying is, okay, I'm saying is as, president, as president, where are you, you going to get this money from? Oh, we're going to tax. I did not say we will not tax. However, I also plan... So we're going to get even more tax. <laughs> no, actually, here's what I think will happen, just to be clear on this. I think we're going to go full stop on supplying all the needs for everybody. And in that, we're going to raise the spectra, the human spirit, the human value. Right now, the American spirit is completely sick. And yes, you can have perceived value in the human being even. But you have to actually show that the human being has value by putting it over that capitalism that we're speaking about. In order to do that, you have to have human guarantees and to say that the very reason for commerce and business and all of this stuff is to serve human needs. And, and that, that somehow point. all of that got, got away it. from got the slow down point because to actually be. Do you have you headphones? Slow down because do you have headphones? No, no sir. No, because it always seems to be the fix no. on these lives is, is the is the headphones. That's why I'm wearing them. Yeah. Okay. Maybe so I, I'll tell you. So you I know, hear what you're saying, gotta, but you gotta yeah, keep. So you gotta you get slow down. I just asked everybody here in the audience; they could hear me just fine. It's breaking up on your end. You gotta slow down. No pun intended. Okay. You're not trying to insult. You're talking too fast for. No, no, I hear you. It's, it's the. We have to do what we gotta do to break through. So, so once again, where are you gonna get this money? We are going to, like I said, just like the other candidates, except for we will represent the people. We will tax. Aside from taxing, we will print money, just like they printed money in the 2008 financial crisis, except for then. It served corporations, banks, the same welfare recipients the government usually serves, whether they're serving them in the halls of Congress or serving them by printing money, it's all the same. I'm saying let's do that for the people this time and stop being scaredy cats about getting the work done. Well, so, so you're out for freedom, free spirits, and all that other good stuff, right? Of course, yes. I'm out for the you know, do you, do you know what the word the terrorism means terrorism it's a question the word, the word terrorism the definition do you know what it means of course do you know what it means do you know do you know what the word terrorism means yes okay what is it okay what is it Terrorism is when you're trying to call me one, actually. I've heard this before. Well, I'm, 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 I, it's, it, it, by definition, by definition, it's somebody like myself. You know what I find terrorist? You know what I find ter like terrorism? Is when people that instead of looking at the God's honest truth as it is and looking for ways to solve that problem, instead they go far off in different ways, so much disunity, so much hate, never real conversations that hope to solve these problems. And that is exactly what your enemy, whomever you perceive it to be, wants. Because they want you discombobulated, disorganized. They want you so full of yourselves and hating everyone else. And that's exactly what I don't, I don't hate anybody. I, like I said, I, I gave out without anybody asking me voluntarily. 
even Justin Padini the other day bought me a meal for giving him things out of my garden. See, I'm voluntary. I'm not greedy. I, I work like that all the time. What I'm asking you, what I'm asking you though, like say, say I don't want to be a part of the government. I don't have to be, right? That's what freedom is. That's what true freedom is. So what I'm asking you, what I'm asking you, and I'm being friendly, what is the definition of terrorism? We all know what terrorism is. So what's your point? So my point is, terrorism is to violently attack people for political focus. So if somebody like myself wants to opt out, right, which I can't do, that would in fact be terrorism upon me or anybody else that does not want to be a part of government. Right now, what we are trying, I don't find what you're talking about being realistic. I wish it was. So it that's, sounds that's great. What it is right I would now, never. Like, hold on. Let me finish in that. Let me finish. I would never ever tell you to not do it. I admire it, but you can't be against people for also following what they think is right. Not unless you're also prepared to hold the burden that if they were right and you're wrong, that you owe that to yourself and to wear that shame. And most people aren't. I, to do that. I have no shame. I have no shame. I don't even kill an animal anymore. I went vegan. I, I am following the path. You know, I've been vegetarian for nine years. Uh, I'm but following the path. You have to also serve humanity. That's everybody can do what they want to do. Humanity are dying while animals are great. Everybody can do what they want to do. I don't force what I'm trying to do on anybody else. All I do try and force is for everybody to be more. Now, if government is actually terrorizing people because they don't want to concede to what the government wants, now that's kind of a problem for me, you understand? Now that's kind of a problem for me, you understand? That's where I come from. So yeah, when I feel I'm not done when, with that either. When, when, I don't like people calling me an asshole. I think that when you get here's the idea that I have. Are you ready? You're gonna be so happy about the new world we delivered to the American people. You're gonna be so thrilled in it and seeing the changes that you want that you'll voluntarily want to be a part of that. At any point, you're free to leave, JJ. You can take all of your ideas, everything you want to do. There's places in this world, and you can go do. No, I, I, I actually. But if you don't, if you do that here in America. You're actually still counting on roads and services, fire I've got great ideas for the road. Otherwise, people can come and kick your door in, brother. I kick my door in, right? That's terrorism. That's terrorism. That's what people do. It's so sad. And you know, the truth is, if we acknowledge that truth and say, instead of adding to the problem, we we put humanity above capitalism, our greed gets pushed off to the side in the way of kindness and love and humanity. Well, what's kind, we write it into the law. What's kind about terrorizing people who don't want to be a part of your system? Your argument is perhaps, uh, you would be a very lucky to even get another presidential candidate on, and this is why. Because your argument is against government completely. If I were on that argument, I wouldn't even be running for office. I believe that if you take complete Every, all the power out of the situation, there's going to be in this, especially this atmosphere where humanity does not matter right now, currently, there will be One second. all kinds of enveloping. I, I actually did some research, okay? There has been, there has been a couple of societies, actually, that have been no government. And... They profited it much higher. As a matter of fact, all the countries surrounded them and looked to them for their resources. Let me find this here real quick. Wow, there's another fucking 40 bucks. That's awesome when you find money you didn't know you had. That helps, right? Yeah, it helps. It definitely helps. Okay, so there is the world they put us There's the There's the Republic of Caspasia and Catalonia. Both. Places and countries that thrived without government. And you can look those up. You're breaking up a bunch there, but I, I do get what you're saying. There's places that do this. They're successful at it. Great. You know what? 
I don't wish anybody who wants humanity to do well bad. I love my country. I love America. If you vote for me, you're voting for a government. You're voting for, instead of the chaos that the current government gives us, we will get organization and love and humanity over greed, that's to say over capitalism, and then you have humanity, all humanity, pushing capitalism, saying, do well capitalism, you're already taking care of us. So, but that's what I'm saying, like, I, me and, 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 and all my peeps that I cheer with around here, we don't ask for anything. <clears throat> so, if you were president, would you be able to create a clause? Yes, you do. I would argue against that. I would say that everything you have is the result of your brothers and sisters, your employees, people you work with. We are an interdependent and codependent society. Without each other, we are in trouble. We are not an independent species. One must not make that mistake in saying so. It's a fallacy, fallacy among beliefs, my friend. Well, so, so let, me, let me ask you something. What was this country founded on? Freedoms. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. You get religious what freedoms. Was the system? What was you get the When they sit down and wrote the Constitution, and these were okay, murderous slave owners, yeah, by the way. Everybody, every, hold on a second. Let me finish. I'll let you talk. So everybody's like, oh, our forefathers, our forefathers. That's no bullshit. If you were actually do your history and read about our forefathers, they were murderous slave owners. Now, these people are the kind of people that you don't want to follow. And they sat down right. and wrote the laws that yeah, no, they were horrible people. Many of them, although they were our, because they actually included a clause in that. They included a clause that they would be able to raise taxes whenever they seem fit. Now that was their devious side, their evil side. Because they knew that there was a possibility that they might have to steal more money. See, that's what Here, here's what I'm getting at. I think you understand when I say this. And I think you really understand. Maybe you won't. I hope you do. Here is the fact. We're going into a new system where employees no longer have to think with their minds of how every time they spend their time doing something, it's they trade their time for money. It's interchangeable. In the new society, your time is worth way more than money. You couldn't buy it. You see, so you have people that are guaranteed their, their life and their sustenance, those are human beings, and then you have businesses going after profit just like you do today, except for that human beings are guarded in that atmosphere. So, let me go on. And that these businesses, they are capitalism, they are going after all the gold that everybody's got. They're fine to do that, they can do that, but they will pay. And if we can't make a system that works in doing it that way, we will have bigger problems, my friend. That's a friend to capitalism, because these people who are up in arms, ready for change, they're ready to get rid of capitalism, too. I give a way for America to do well in the way it's always done well, but yet to take care of humanity doing it. Well, here's the deal with, 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 with using government, right? This is the reason that we have problems. Is because no society should. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me let me get a little bit. Let me get a little bit deeper. Let me let me ask you this question. Why do you want government? Is it because is it because you're worried about everybody else what they're going to do? Is this is this a control situation? Is this a control? Yeah, there absolutely is. There's so much control to government. So, so you would say that's not just me. That's a lot of people. It's a protective barrier for people. Absolutely, government provides. That's that's the whole role that we're not filling right now. It's supposed to provide somewhere for the human being to have a a, a backing. Somewhere by which they can flourish on their own. But if they need the backing, they have it. Right now, they fall till death does them part. That's BS. We ought to get more, and people aren't going to accept it. But what's happening is people are getting angry, and they're empowering their enemies. In this case, many people are against Trump. They're empowering him. Hey, I voted for Trump. There's a lot of people that are for me that voted for Trump as well. They are the ones who are actually nimble, listening to the truth. They want to see positive change. They know that these politicians, they have even less answers than you, JJ, less answers than me. 
but yet they have the ears and minds because they're the ones who are getting into the television and they're controlling the media. But we have to break out from that. We have to think nimbly. It starts with us. We can start something special, but not if we're all disorganized. Every last one of us working our own individual movements. It, like I said earlier, it's so admirable, but we have to have some organization. Are you there? I think we're breaking up a bit here. So we'll see, because it froze up. JJ. All right, you're back, you're back. Oh, there you are. All right, so. It's, I don't know, so maybe it's saying. on your side. All right, so. No, no, it's not. Everybody here saying. says that they can hear me just fine. No, no, it's not. Everybody here says that they can but, hear me. But let me ask you okay. Uh-huh. But, but let me ask you though. So here's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. But 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 let me ask you again, because this is the question. Why do you and other people want to have a power system? Is it because of fear of what other people would do? Fear of what other people would do. Want to have a power. Oh, oh, wow, I did answer that, that quite extensively. There's many ways you could answer that, ultimately. Well, the truth I is, I myself would prefer more and more, and more freedoms. freedoms. But, but in, in order, order to have those freedoms, freedoms you have to acknowledge certain aspects oh, wow, about the reality of life just, just the way it is. is. You have 380 million, or the number changes all the time for some reason, but the last I checked, 350 million people living in America. And... You have, you have to be able to manage that conglomerate of people. people. These are very wealthy people. These people go very easily, many of them, end up becoming very dangerous if you don't take care of them. Well, why, why? They've been left out. Many of these people have sicknesses that they've been left on the sidelines. So the rest of the population oftentimes want to do nothing more than just keep that segment in good check. What, what I say is acknowledge that there are, are these sick people, people these, these people that are being treated so horribly. You were one of them at one point, so was I. In many ways, we're all still victims that we have to say as a human being, just because you are human and that you are a human being. I love you. You should automatically have that same love back. We are not giving any truth to that. Humanity matters. So we have to put it in the law. We have to make it so. So, so you would say so, so you that would government say is in place because you don't trust humanity. You don't trust humanity. I didn't say that. But, but you would, right? Because if you trust humanity, I said that humanity, humanity has a problem. That we're not taking care of each other, and that while humanity is being left out, if we continue not taking care of them, you are going to be the cause for more school shootings. You will be the cause for more human suffering. Humanity matters. The longer that we refuse to acknowledge that, the longer we suffer, my friend. How many school shootings has David Hogg himself been at? My friend, these are not great people. I don't know how many shootings he's been at when somebody is so different violence and wanting violence. We have to get away from all of this. There's all we have is more and more. All we have are conspiracy theories on top of conspiracy theories, and most of them are correct. The problem is, yeah. Exactly. Most of them are correct. I don't even want to get into the ugly stories of the truth. What I want to get into is how to change all that, to acknowledge that humanity matters, to stop allowing their divisive ways divide us and conquer us by doing so, despite not having the intelligence otherwise or the right ideas. Oh, yes, we will be ruled. The question is, is it going to be by these greedy bastards who just want to continue taking the sustenance of life away from the human spirit, or will it be by one of our own who love and I want to put humanity at the top. Well, so long as there is government, you're always going to have greedy bastards because that's who values government. Actually, Satan, that have no name, have been running civilization for thousands of years. So put somebody that loves God there. I would die before. I would die before joining such a BS organization. Why are we not propping people up who talk like that? That's the question. That is the question.
But but you want to join a system that is completely ran and controlled by them. Not them. I'm running for president. Have you not noticed? I, I have noticed, but one person in that system will not shut down that machine. They shot JFK, bro, and took a shot at you, too. Yeah. I mean, I, I, if, if that's a sacrifice, then that's a noble one. I'm willing to make it. Life's not worth living unless we have certain things done. I'm not the only one there. Have you seen the atmosphere lately? You can't get away from this insanity. We can do without. We can do without. You're breaking up really bad. I think what you said is anything that we could do with Maybe government, we can do without. Anything. Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm is that the argument you're making? Because I don't think we're able to put humanity on top of capitalism without somebody that knows it's the right thing to do, to be voted in, to have heard the people, and to say this is an acknowledgement, a place to go. It's direction. Right now, there's all this movement. Everybody's angry, mad, throwing their arms up, and they're getting mad at their brethren. What I give is a way out of that together in a vision forward a way forward a way away from all this division this civil war that everyone loves so much it's soft in nature only because we don't have clearly well-defined geographical battle lines it's kind of well that, that that's civil war that's civil war killing each other as much as i don't like it it's probably gonna happen it's probably gonna happen and i'll tell you why you well, have I need to. Haiti. I mean, I'm actually. You I have Haiti. With you, but here's the thing. I am the way away from that. All these people who just know so well, they won't be told anything. They don't see it like we do. But they do nothing about it. And when it comes to the wish they did, my words will haunt them. They will haunt them because they won't like that death. And they won't like that change of lifestyle either. Well, I mean, here's the deal, though. Like, so. Right now, everything in the entire world is ran by one organization, Satanists. They have no name. They're all into I mean, there's not people, let's put it like this, it's not people who are looking out for our best interests. They have no name. Have you studied the Satanists at all? Do you know what they are? Yes. I, I've studied Do you know why the pyramid, do you know why the pyramid is actually on the dollar bill? Have you seen the all seen out? None of this is yeah, a coincidence. A of this. It has all been all built historic by design. And I don't know everything about it, so I'm interested if you'd like to bring more into it, but it's not necessarily part of my campaign if you get my drift. But this is what I'm saying to you. Yeah. So we've oh, done I, I this for thousands and thousands of years. people away from my presidential campaign if they think that my, you know, I talk about anything. You get my point? But there's things I'm passionate about. I'm very clear on what we're doing, and I will not lose my focus. So, so I'm going to be honest with you. The Freemasons, I, I'm just going to answer a question really quick, uh, Keith. The Freemasons and the Illuminati, yeah, dude, they have nothing to do with this. That is, that is, that is false information. The reason that the Freemasons have gotten such a bad rap is that they challenged several crowns on religion. And they got written off as such, kind of like a scapegoat. That's how that rolled out. So that's just another diversion, another direction for people to look other than what's actually going on. If you were going to point your finger, if you, hold on a second, people, because I'm talking to the audience here. If you were going to point your finger at one group of people, one fucking group, they are Satanists. Satanists. Marpasio was a Satanist priest, and he will tell you outright, Illuminati had got a bad right. It, it means to actually, you know, look for enlightenment. Freemasonry is to look for enlightenment. When they came around thousands of years, they were actually helping the people. I'm not saying this to divert you anyway, because anybody who's actually listening to me knows I don't want any government. I don't want any fucking rulers. But if you want to look at the one group and they have no fucking name, it's a Satanist group. 
take that away, government. I, I agree. They run everything. I agree. There's a, a lot of truth to what you're saying. I'm not going to start telling you how wrong you are. That's for sure. When I know someone's wrong, I stand firm and I say it. When I don't know you're wrong, and in fact you make a lot of sense. But this is yeah, this is what I'm saying. You know, myself. The truth, then you have to respect that. My, I, well, honestly, I don't have to respect anything. That's what freedom's all about. And I'm not. No. Yeah, no. 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 I do what I. No want. pun intended. This is what no I. No pun intended. But let, let's get back to the political thing, right? Politics in itself is just a circus. It's another diversion for people to look so they don't see what's the political thing, right? are just puppets. Well, I'm not very political, so I don't really play the games too much. I'll shut them down. If... If I was a political candidate, then I wouldn't have the qualifications to be that. You have had to go to Harvard. You have had to do a lot of things to play into that background. system, For to be so dedicated right? and bought into that system. I'm not, I'm not bought in, and I don't want to be. Well, I mean, once again, no pun intended, you are bought, you bought into the system because you want to be a president of the not system. Not the kind that you're talking about. You're, I'm not running like these other candidates are. I'm not qualified. I'm not political like that. I care about the humanity, not about the Republicans or what they think, like many of your viewers, or the Democrats or what they think. I have very clear vision in my mind. And if we had that vision, it was true already. The ideas that you fight for, if they were true already, there would be no purpose for me. But the fact is, and it's a sad fact, it's not true, and your ways will likely not get us anywhere better, and I'm running for president of the United States. Well, if I win, I assure you I will make some change. Well, well, I mean, do you know why everybody believes in this system? Because before they even because had the opportunity to think, the they were forced they into were state forced schools. Forced, mandated. Forced, had to go. Had to go. There were two things there that a school things. will actually there preach to you. Be obedient. Follow the rules. That's right. And you will be blessed. Follow the new rules. Not whether they are immoral or moral. That's and we will And we will discipline you. So... So, this is why this is everybody, why everybody believes in the system. Now, if there was not state now, mandated, not schools, mandated schools, and people, so, actually, and people had actually, had people actually had the ability to train their kids under natural law, I don't agree with anything 100%. That's why I'm not an anarchist. That's why I'm not a Democrat. That's why I'm not a Republican. That's why I'm an individualist. You can't agree. You'd be an extremist. Now, there's some things I agree with 100%, though, I will say, JJ. There's some things. God, I believe in God 100%. So you believe, you believe, believe in religion. religion. You believe in religion. I don't believe in religion. But you believe in God. I don't say that. But you believe in God. I believe in a creator. It's obvious based on what we see. I just look at the facts and I say, well, we're here. Nothing here is here unless it has a purpose, a cause, or a reason, or because of. Our because of is clear. We matter the most. It's obvious we're at the top of the food chain. It seems to me we have a God. Not just do we have a creator because we're here, but that we must be his favorite because we're at the top of the food How chain. How about maybe we have creator? Tours, more than one. Yeah, whatever. I'm not trying to put the book on how it Genesis, works. Here's Genesis, the thing. We have a creator that loves us, and that's a beautiful Genesis, thing to know. So you read the Bible, yeah? So you read the Bible, yeah? Uh, sometimes, here, the Bible has a lot of good truth in it, and I don't stand to it. The fact is, I don't stand, I don't put my truth to the Bible, because my truth is more secure. I could defend it. Okay. Well, I mean, truth is truth. It's the truth right. because, it's because it's indisputable. So that's it. It's so, indisputable. That's why it's the, the truth. So so never in civilization so, so never has in civilization anybody in humanity has ever thought to be an individualist because of what? Because of some sort of religion. Right? If you don't follow this right? practice, and this was taught beep, out of really, really early right age, really and now they do it with indoctrination through the schools. Now, if they didn't have those state schools and they weren't taught to act a certain way or think a certain way, do you think the government would be necessary? Now, if they didn't think the government would be necessary and they weren't taught, we could educate our children a lot better to be more self-sufficient. 
And we have to. And that's why, as your happy healer, if I make it to the top, I will be doing that kind of stuff, inspiring people, showing them how to get out of ruts on their own, but also that we need each other. It's not a bad thing that we need each other. It's actually reinforced, and it's a great thing. We see that we're so imperfect that we couldn't possibly get by without each other, and that's why we have to value each other and acknowledge that by taking care of each other. But, uh, so so we, can, we can all work together just fine. We can. Nobody's thinking outside the box. They're just following the leader here. They're blind, deaf, yeah. and dumb. I, I would love to see the day. It certainly isn't going to happen like this, brother. We need to get to a new world where humanity matters more than so. Humanity. So going, you can have that conversation. So going back to what I said, find success, here, you here's what people tell me all the time. You know, like when I talk to my status friends, because they're still my friends. They're just misguided, and and they're not thinking on their own. They're like Jay. You got way too much faith in humanity. I says no. <laughs> That's not true. I have no faith in humanity. And that is exactly why I don't want a small group of them to have more power and authority than I or anybody else that they say that they're for to have. And that's the reason that I don't want that's, government. That's a good because if, if I had humanity, and I don't trust them at all, because you never know what they're going to do under government. They went to state school, and they're all in the reptilian pool of the brain. That's where the Satanists want you to be, fight or flight, right? Me above all else. That is a pillar of Satanism. That is the way you are trained to be, right? Selfish. Me above everything else. And I'm going to have programs out, documentaries that speak to this, JJ. You know I'm a filmmaker. I'm going to talk about this stuff. But further than that, you're talking about something that's true, that stands on its own because it makes sense. And when we can all universally agree that that's logical and it makes sense, and that any honest broker of truth can say, yep, I agree in that, well, then you also have to realize sometimes there's things that logically make sense on both ends, but that there's a greater truth. And in this regard, no matter how much you want that kind of perfect utopian world, which I would like there's to no do, utopia. but that I gotta cut in you off. There's this no utopia. environment this is it's not going to happen. There's no utopia. There will never be a utopia. That's a ridiculous comment. That's not what I'm asking for. That's not what I expect. Okay, well, that's what you're talking ever. about. That's what you are talking about. No, I'm not. I contend that's what you're talking about. I, I'm talking about people <laughs> because you couldn't the trust the world otherwise. I'm talking about people you having the ability to act on their own and not be trained by Satanists to they obey. Had that. It was no, they the wild, don't. Wild West. No, they don't. They had that. It, it, it was the it, wild, it, wild it, west. It, 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 this is the wild west. This is the wild west. The government is the Wild West. They do whatever they want to do. Let me ask you something else. If myself, for instance, wants to smoke marijuana, but you don't like the smell, and you create a law that incarcerates me, right? And you're my friend. What would you do to me? No. That wouldn't happen first off well, because the wall, I believe right? in your freedom. That's the, the problem. We have all these uh, enemies, perceived enemies. We first they make them for us, and then we all universally this side votes against that side's freedoms. That side votes against this side's. We all need more freedoms. I'm for complete smoke all you want. Enjoy. Legalize it completely. Well, don't you legalize it? You criminalize it. We don't want any more taxes. Taxes are way out of out of out of, out of, out of the crazy. The crazy. But let, right, let's, criminalize so let's, let's go back to that, in my mind. because we started on that, right? So taxes are through the roof. I'm in sales. I, I 40% comes out my shit, and every year, I'm not going to go right on a piece of paper. I don't. For the last seven years, and I can say this out right. I don't give a I want you to quit working for money. I want you to start realizing your time is so much more valuable than money. My time is when valuable. When you decide to put your time why, for something, be more worried about serving humanity. Your needs will be provided. I serve. I don't want anybody to provide for me. You can take my social security. They already do. They already do. I can tell from the place you're sitting in. I can tell from the clothes you're wearing. I can tell from the fact that you're on the internet. You're being provided for every single day you're alive. Oh shit! Did he just die? Can you? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I'm can here. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, well my headphones just died. Okay. Well, yeah, but I bought. Oh the brother, that sucks. Me. Me. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I hear you just fine. No, but I'm saying the government didn't buy my clothes or the apartment that I stay in. 
I think so. And you know what? I would have a little right. bit more. Like, I don't give a shit. You know, per week, because I'm a vegetarian, I only spend about 50 bucks. I can probably, yeah. I can probably manage. You know, my rent's 1400 I love you, JJ. You're a good guy. I am a good guy. I am. You want the best for all of us. I know you are. I know you are. We, we, all the people who are watching this, everybody wants the best. But what we're ending up with, with, and I'm gonna curse now. We're ending up getting fucked. Every last one of us. We're all great people, just wanting the best, and we keep losing. I don't like it. I'm doing something about it. I'm running. I mean, I'm not gonna say that you don't have a good heart. I'm not gonna say that you don't have a good heart. I mean, this is slavery. Now, so so let's go back to, you know, like, I, I help people out all the time, man. I do it voluntarily. You know, I send out books. I got some people in here. I sent out books. I'm just trying to create good teachers that were going to take a vibe of individualism in society. Unfortunately, let me tell you, let me tell you a little story about my friend. He just had a kid. Okay. Do you know what maritime law is? Do you know what maritime law is in society? Yeah, unfortunately. I had this friend that was together for some 10 years. Her husband died and then she was left with nothing. She has to scrimp and scrape. It doesn't matter he served his country in the military. It doesn't matter. We're not taking care of humanity. We got to stop that. It's not working out so well. If we were taking care of humanity, we would allow humanity to have what they want. We're not taking care of humanity because... And you know what they worked for? They worked for the future that we did not get. Where is the future of technology where we could be provided for finally? Because that's what they taught us in our school, speaking of which what they taught us. It never happened. Instead, families went from working in the 50s, one parent supporting your whole family, then at least the rest of the family members can work on their humanity, their fate, their sustenance is that. But no, now you have to work two parents for one household working. No. Not 40 hours, 40 to 80 hours. And all of this is no, not to say for your future, but for your bare necessities. Right. Okay. No, I'm sorry, I'm not buying that question. bullshit. I don't think I ever got the answer out of So I'm getting 40% of my taxes taken out right now. And you are campaigning. You're going to be concerned about your taxes when you have all of your needs paid for. When the fat cats, not you, you don't have, you're, first off, you're going to sit there like so many people do and they think they're righteous when they say this and they trained you to say this. I've already been through the circus act. I've already seen it a million times. I know it. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business person. I'm no fool. And that is, oh, I created my wealth. I had to work for so long to get the things I have. And I realized that in that's the trap and mentally the more they have you in that trap the less willing you're about to see somebody else have their sustenance and their livelihood to be just fine while you have to work so hard for yours it's a form of the lower human emotion but, but that's it's jealousy to say well why should you have what i have but we have to get out of that we have to take care of humanity and then we can actually start saying you know what it doesn't matter whether you're taxed you're taken care of you're serving humanity your sustenance is to be for your faith you meant to be an artist and serve humanity in that way you'll get to do it under my plan and that's what we're going to encourage okay, you to so do instead of looking and going backwards and building more factories and putting human beings in them we'll build the kind of factories that robots do so then those robots will get taxed not you and then the people that own those robots yes they'll get taxed but then you can live that you live your faith you live your humanity unlike the promise that they lied about Back in the 90s, it never came true. Instead, us 40-year-olds 40, 40 were like a new species in humanity in America, living in basements and not able to supply, supply for the families. So, it's absurd, so, so, and I'm doing something so about it. Asking here, so, so, so how are you going to do it? Now you said, you said, now this is both the people. That's what, that's a great question. So, so, and here's what we do. Go to, here, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, go to the website right happyhealerforpresident.com and thank you for giving me a platform go there look at the many articles it's very very in-depth it's not just a quick how do you do it like i can provide here very easily in many different angles and in many different ways there it gets into it it breaks it apart it dissects it and it does it every day constantly and consistently it's organized go there and learn more about it Get involved. So, so the more you help me do this and push me forward, the more we can do something about it. That's how we do something about it. 
So my taxes are through the roof. Nothing's going to change about that when you become president. But now you want to guarantee everybody gets $5,000 a month. I have to work hard for my money. So more taxes are going to come out of my money so I can pay for somebody. We have a plan on the website. And the plan gets into how we roll that out. If you were to get sick, you know what would happen? You would lose everything you worked for. It didn't matter that you worked for everything. If you worked for Enron and that you had your life savings hooked up in Enron and that Enron made bad business decisions, you could be potentially lost without having anything for your retirement. What it's saying is that humanity matters so much to America and Americans that we take care of our own and that we show it can be done in this country and that we go full stop. You're not so worried about that stuff anymore because you're taking well, care of it. You're spoken again. for. And that you're worried about your fate. But let me ask you again. How are you going to do it? You're not so worried about that. How are you going to do it? If, if, well, if, if somebody yes, like yes, myself yes, is already... Yes, yes, be more specific then because there's a million ways to answer that. Yeah, but I, I, nobody's going to go to your webpage. But people here want to know. Nobody's going to go to your webpage. So, so how, yeah, no, I've already said, and here's the, here, look, very clearly, we're taking humanity, putting them over capitalism. Yes, that means that humanity is getting taken care of. So we're going to pay for that through capitalism, or we can change the system, which I don't favor that. I think capitalism is done very well. It's just too greedy. So we have to have a change in ideas. We have to start realizing that humanity matters. And the way to do that is to literally put humanity over capitalism. It's not a brand new idea. It's actually called Capitalism 2.0, and I discovered that other people were also thinking this way when I was looking into my own plans. I started reading about Capitalism 2.0, and I put it on my website and said, there's a plan. Now let's follow that plan. But besides that, we're going further. We're going full stop. Humanity. That means your eye care, your health care, everything, your teeth, you know, so that you can be someone with full dignity. I don't have an idea that I came up with, right? Because nobody owns America. Go for it. America yeah. was actually stolen. You know, the people that were here were raped, killed, and fucking slaves to get this land so it's actually stolen land so let's say myself and some other people we don't want social security we say we don't want anything how about we just sign a little documentation right there and we don't pay shit and we don't get shit can we opt out of government can we opt out of government that's that i don't see how that's practical you if you're in the united it. states how would you do that you'd have everybody opting out oh i don't want to pay right, nothing right. you know you got to take care of people man you if you could step into a system here's here's the deal you want to do that there's already that available i don't really know where you're going to with that unless you're just bucking the system for the sake of bucking it unless you're just trying to find a point of contention that which you can then argue or debate but if the goal is to find real workable solutions you go with it you, you find what's 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 the matter? What's the beef to the problem? You want to be a part of that solution or you don't. And if you decide that you don't want to be a part of that, then you just find every wiggle way to get out of it. But when you realize that taking care of people is the very problem, it's the reason for racism, the reason for the hell that we're seeing, the deaths, then you know it's so clear what we must do. You put aside your differences, you get focused on that hard work. Anything less than it means you're part of, well, the problem because you've done nothing about it, but you knew. But if we didn't have government, everybody would have more. Hey, I got a couple more minutes here, brother. I'm sweating my ass off and I have to get back to some of the stuff I'm doing. And you kind of sort of did. Because I said, can everybody opt out? And you're like, well, if everybody just opt out, we wouldn't have government. Yeah, how, how can you do that? Yeah, that the nobody. You can go to another faraway country where it doesn't matter. You have that option. You have that option now, JJ. As long as you're in the United States, we have to keep you safe. We have to keep you provided for. We have to keep everything because that's what you're getting now. Nobody can kick your door in. You're on the internet. You're using the utilities. You're using the systems by which keeps America running. Well, if you don't want to be a part of that, then leave America. But I don't think you should do that. I think you should, you're a great guy, and I love well, you, and oh well, this conversation leave. has got to have an end. Why don't we do this again? So, so why the fuck would I leave America when I was born here? And the foreign policy Exactly, 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 America exactly. So that's not the answer. But what you're saying is you want zero participation. How can you have that? How can you have that anywhere, dude? I'm just doing it. I'm 
and then we all suffer. We get the same that we've been getting. We all are sitting there and nobody to answer to those, nobody to account to the suffering. And then we got you who's sitting there saying, well, it ain't my problem. How is that bad? I work with other people just fine. I'm just saying that I'd be able to work with people better if I didn't have government on my back feeling more. I'm not seeing a very good example of it right now, my friend. I don't see a very good example or anybody that's making a great enough example to make the case that humanity will just take care of itself because we're all just like great people. You know what? I think right now we need to acknowledge because we are in such an ugly place. We're in war with each other, a civil war by the creation of our current leaders and their mismanagement. Because government that's right, their mismanagement of our government. You better believe it. It's very badly mismanaged. It's got people like you sounding like you make sense. This is a terrible idea. We need government, but we need it to work for the people. So the reason... Yeah, no, I know. I get worked up with, with ideas that I know don't work. I told you I was going to be nice. I'm asking you some questions. Chill out. I'm letting you talk. I'm fine. I, I, I got I to gotta get going, though. Let me finish, man. So, you don't trust humanity. You're worried what they'll do. But you think that a small group of these people that you can't trust should I trust humanity. I don't trust the system that we're in. That you don't trust should have powers and authorities to govern everybody else that everybody else doesn't have. Do you see how that doesn't make any sense at all? You know, the fact that you're coming through this speaker 52 different times because your playback makes anything hard to make sense at all. But let me tell you, I get you just fine. I understand it very clearly. I get the whole utopian, because it is utopian, idea that you speak of. It's not possible. The utopian ideas you're saying are completely unrealistic because we're not even close to thinking like that. Very quickly, we'll shit on each other put the middle finger at each other so quick to just tear each other down and true love is just out of the question it's nowhere near i would never trust people who have said for example that i should die because i'm running for president to just do the right thing and that will all be well because what's going to happen is in the vacuum of any leadership then comes even more nefarious than what we had before what we need is a plan that works that takes us from this hell we're in that gives us a better chance for a future worth living so i gave you two examples to look up you'll be able to go back in the video where government did not exist and a civilization thrived above all else the only reason that civilization is fucked up right now is because you've given people Powers and authority that not everybody else has. Whenever you give people powers and authorities that nobody else has, they'll always right. be corrupt. Even you. I agree. Even me. We all have to be very careful for that. You, you, even you, though. Because when you you're right. I have, I'm not naive of the fact that I'm fallible. I have to be very careful. I got my mind in the right idea, though. But even with you, with that power, see, Good people, in my belief, that want the best for humanity, they don't want to control everything else. They want to work with everything else. And that's what I'm saying. There's no fucking... Hope right. There's going to be murder. There's going to be mayhem. No matter what. But I think there's going to be a lot less. If we didn't have a controlled... And I'm going to let you end it on your word, on your program, dude. A controlled system I'm not constantly punishing people for not wanting to do what they want them to do. All right, let's do this again, okay? Yeah, all right. Have a nice time. Yeah, all right. Have a nice time. All right, love you, brother. Yep, take care. Okay, so we're still live here, and that's great. I love it, talking to my friend JJ, and we all have better or different ideas, some to ourselves we think are better than others, and vice versa. And sometimes they're not so realistic. Sometimes they don't have any hope of actually solving the real issue. And that's the terrible thing. If we push things so hard in such a direct manner and do it all the time, we're so confident of what we're talking about, we better make sure it's right. And I can't say what he's saying and know it's right. In fact, I know it's wrong. 
Yo, man, what a great guy, though. I love him so much. And he's got such great ideas, and he really cares to see this country do better and to see people not hurt so much. I get his pain. I get his pain. And I go through my own pain. And I know your pain, too. And if we don't start thinking in ways, just work together to build up from these ashes because the country is in a sad state of affairs at the moment. We have literally a civil war, a soft one, but a civil war. So I take my run very seriously and so do other people you can see. And there's a lot of people behind it. And I said on the cast, and I'll say it again, anyone who doesn't take your fellow man seriously when he's pushing a cause that we all know is so needed and that it's the only answer that seems to have hope in a hopeless time. This is a hopeless time. You tell me what voices there are out there that are making sense or even more sense than I make. Tell me, please, I want to hear about them, especially the ones running for president. I challenge you to find pretty much any voices, but just the ones running for president. Tell me. Tell me. Show me who they are. We'll see you next time. I'm Keith Landy, your happy healer, running for president of the United States, and I have a cause and a reason and a vision. Support that. We'll see you soon. I'm a very optimistic person. You'll know that you know that already.